Alright, uh, Leeco3 here, and today we're going to do a tutorial of some sorts, and this is going to focus on um, how to quickly and efficiently edit your eBay listings. Um, this video definitely will not be for everybody, but we're going to just kind of get into it right here. So, um, this is just uh, my eBay. So what, what we're trying to do is either add best offer or take it away, um, like quickly and efficiently. Now let's just say you go into uh, let's go into the seller hub. Um, if if you have a lot of listings like me and a ton of other sellers do, um, if you want to edit these, it's just it's a pain in the ass, really. Um, so say you want to just edit these five, like you want to change price or add best offer or take away best offer. There's just a bunch of um, tedious loading screens. So what what I'm trying to show you guys is. How, how can we get this done quicker? Um, and there is a way that I found last week. So if, if you do it this way on eBay, say you wanted to put this Frank Gore to $20 instead of 19 or you wanted to edit the uh, auto decline price on this Russell Wilson to like $8.75. There, you gotta wait for that to load. You gotta wait for all these screens to load. Um, if, you're, if you're editing a lot of things, this is tedious and you just you, you run out of patience. So let's just submit our changes, and then I'm going to show you a much better way to do it, and quicker. See, you're waiting on all this. So what you need to do is go into your seller hub, okay, and click right here where it says Overview. Click on Overview and scroll down to Selling Tools. Now the sixth little um, blue icon to click on says File Exchange. This is the one you want to click on. So this is working directly through like CSV files, also known as uh, Excel templates. And, and what you're going to do is click on this, download files. I'm not going to actually do it because I already did it before and I already have the file ready. So um, when you do the download files though, put an email address in that you have access to and you can check. So when they send over your files, you're able to open it. So for this example, um, you would download files, you would select active, and then you I always click this file exchange and it just says revise price and quantity. So it just kind of has basic features. If you want to do unique things, you can click on this one, but I just do that and then I add in a couple columns. Then you would click save and it would send over the data to your email. So since I already did that, let's go into my email and let's, let's pull it up. So um, it looks like today at 11, let's see, where is it at? Okay, here we go, right here. So um, download center at ebay.com. That's how it'll pop up in your uh, email. So you're going to click this little link right here, download at. So just click this link. So now at the bottom, it's got this little CSV file exchange response. Click open. Okay, so now that you have that open, you can kind of work from here. Oh, whoops, I clicked clicked out of it. Um, all right, now when, when you get this open, you can kind of work from there, and you can kind of, uh, the first thing you want to do is, let's make this big so we can see it better. Um, so where it says uh, item ID, it's like in scientific notation. So you want to edit this whole column so when you re-upload your, your files it will be able to uh, read them. So you want to oh, you want to go this way make it zero so then now you got your actual item IDs and not that weird plus stuff uh, this is your uh, title of your all your listings Ma make that larger so you can see it um, buy, buy it now price is if say you're running an auction for 99 cents but you have a buy it now for 599 that's what this column means so um, I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't need it and then we're gonna add in a couple columns and this is kinda what I was on the uh, hunt for I, I was just kinda going around all their tutorials and I I've came across this one so um, let's just let's just uh, save this real quick October file exchange 4 so that's how we'll let's save it in documents so. so that's the file that we are working with and we have let's just um, add in the columns that we need so the two columns that we need and I'll, I'll put these in the description are best offer enabled and you have to spell these 
exactly as they're uh, meant to be spelled or it won't work. So best offer enabled and that's essentially adding best offer to any listing you have and minimum best offer price. Does that look right? Um, check your uh, spelling on that. So, so you've got these two that you added in. I'm going to show you how to change prices now. Say this is a 99 Topps Chrome Dan Marino. Um, and I'm going to write down the, the, the ones that we changed so we can check them after we're done with the upload. So um, say you want to add, make this $3 and add the best offer onto it. So you can actually, um, if, you, if you type 1, it'll add best offer. If you type 0, it, you won't have best offer. So for that Dan Marino, we'll just type 0. So that should be set at uh, $3. Let's say this uh, Nelson Aguilar, we're going to drop the price to $6.95. Add best offer in, okay? So we're going to add best offer in, and we're going to put the auto decline at 3. So that column that said minimum best offer price, that's like um, what, exactly what it says. That's the uh, lowest you'll take. So anything under 3 will be automatically declined. i got a bug on my screen here. Um, so let's just put in that. So Marino... Agalor. Um, what else should we change? Let's let's um, add best offer to this Khalil Mac, and let's make it uh, auto decline at 350, and let's drop the price to 6.99. So we're just changing some some minor changes, but we're gonna they should uh, reflect when we uh, re-upload. So um, looks like we got a Michael Thomas patch. Let's just lower this to 65, add best offer, and drop it to 30. So this is just absolutely, I mean, awesome. For people that, if you, if you sell a lot, it, it's so tedious, guys. So let's, this James Jackson, let's just lower the price down very marginally. And I guess we'll do one more. We'll change this D.D. Westbrook to 350. So we've kind of made some changes. They're very, very minor. But I'm doing this as an example. So let's um, save our work and let's get out of it. So you can just go crazy with your stuff. And th there's a lot more columns you can add in um, and uh, efficiently edit your uh, listings. So now we are going to get out of here and I'm going to show you how to upload the file which is right here in your file exchange click upload file I want them to send the results to this email we're going to choose a file and we saved it as what October O C T F E so we want this one now we just want to click upload so it should upload anything you change back into your listings so let's click So it says it's, it's, it's uh, received your request and we'll process it shortly. So I'm going to stop this video and uh, when it's finished uploading, we're going to check the results to see if the changes were properly made. All right, so here we go with this part of it. Um, this is going to be the conclusion. So, um, okay, so in when you click this bar, view upload results, it'll show you your uh, status. So for today's, it says 100% of the actions were completed. So let's go into my store and just kind of see if the changes took effect that, that we did. Um, so let's just type in, uh, what was it, Dan Marino? It was like a 99, right? We changed it to $3. So yeah, there we go. So it changed it to a fixed price, $3. No, I probably won't leave it there. It's too high. But we were just doing demonstration purposes. Uh, Nelson Aguilar was one of the ones we, we touched on. And we drop that down. Six ninety five, perfect. Um, Khalil Mack. There's a shutdown one. Yep, six ninety nine. Um, I know there was a Michael Thomas immaculate that we played around with. Dropped it to sixty five. There we go, right there. That PSA nine one. And then um, James Jackson debut. Yeah, so perfect. So. As you can see, it definitely works. Um, I know there was another one, D.D. Westbrook, and maybe another one. But what, what I was trying to show you is how quickly you can do this without having to go into every single listing individually and wait on those screens. It's just, it's a pain in the ass. So um, I'm, I'm, I sound so like um, demoralized, but I'm, 
about the old way, but I'm so pumped for the new way. So that's it, guys. It's just a tutorial on uh, file exchange for eBay. Um, I hope you guys like it, and I hope you guys it'll help you guys out with uh, your listings later.